People who live in northern BC know Highway 16 also goes by a darker name, the Highway of Tears. Women have disappeared or been murdered along that stretch of road for years. But our region isn't alone. New reports from a number of media outlets show in Canada the number of missing or murdered women is around 1,200. Advocates in Prince George are among those across the country calling for a public inquiry. Please find her. Please help us find her. For years, our region has been mourning the missing and the murdered. There have been numerous marches and continuous media coverage about the women who have given the Highway of Tears its name. But there's never been a public inquiry into why. Well, under the, uh, the criteria for the uh, Highway of Tears, there's uh, approximately 18 women. And uh, um, we know there's more than 18 women missing and murdered women. There's approximately north of 40. It's a problem that's not going away. In March last year, Destiny Ray Tom was killed outside Fort Fraser. In June, Immaculate Basil disappeared into the woods near Leo Creek. It's quite disturbing that the number keeps getting higher and higher, and yet uh, the, the federal government isn't doing anything about it. This week, the Aboriginal People's Television Network reported RCMP has uncovered almost 1,200 cases of missing and murdered women in the last 30 years, a figure the Toronto Star confirmed with RCMP Commissioner Bob Paulson. Calls for a public inquiry were quickly shot down by Federal Public Safety Minister Stephen Blaney. can't even imagine how horrible that must um, make families feel, not only losing loved ones, but then not, not when there's such a huge issue not to have their voice heard in terms of wanting a public inquiry. It seems to me that's, that's such a small request. Terry T.G. is part of one of those families. His cousin Ramona Wilson went missing in 1994. Her body was found a year later in the woods outside of Smithers. There's well over 1,100 of, of these stories across this country. It's quite devastating to a family not knowing uh, some of the answers, not knowing the when and the where and the why or how this could be prevented. Uh, I think that's why we're all calling for a national inquiry. When asked today if he would support an inquiry, Prime Minister Harper said it was time for action, not study. Kelly Lanahan, CKPG News.